For about the last year, Fall Guys has become very easy for me. I mean, I have over 5,000 crowns, and I can qualify on every official level super easily. Until today. You see, a couple days ago, Creative Mode launched, and now the players can make levels themselves. And you know what that means. The players are gonna make levels way more difficult than Mediatonic makes. We're talking near impossible level difficulty. So today is the start of a new series that I'm gonna be doing called The Hardest Fall Guys Levels. And this is part one. I asked you guys in my Discord to make me your hardest Fall Guys levels and submit them to me so I can try to complete them for a video. So we're gonna be trying to complete the five hardest levels that I could find in my Discord so far. Let's do this. Okay, so this one's called Crazy Crumble, made by Brockstar. Okay, so this doesn't look too bad, but he did say in the description that it's pretty hard. Okay, so I got a slime slide down here. That's definitely faster. Okay, so far, nothing too intimidating. This looks actually, this looks pretty easy. All right, we might have a pretty easy start to the video here. Huh? Wait, bro, why did you add these DoorDash doors? I think I found a flaw in your level, bro. I can literally just walk around them. Well, this was very easy. I mean, I guess we can call this, you know, a warm-up level to get us ready for the other levels that we'll be playing because this was very easy. The level is pretty well done, but yeah, very easy level. I don't know if that's the hardest Fall Guys level by any means, but it was cool. Thanks for the submission, Brockstar. Okay, this one's called Cannon Climb, made by Steelays. Whoa, okay. This one looks a lot more intimidating. Let's see if I can complete this. Okay, so there's a bunch of projectiles being launched at me. Oh my god, okay. This is kind of hard. Luckily, the Think Bacchuses kind of act as a shield, and they kind of blocked some of the objects that are coming at me. Bro, this actually looks insane. All right, so far, so good. So far, so good. No, that boom blaster. Wait, I just, I have a big brain idea. I think I can use one of these obstacles to just jump straight up here. I'm gonna try it. Yes, I did it. Oh my God. I'm actually so smart. Uh oh, okay. So if I ever fall down, I'm just gonna use these obstacles to get back up. Wait, why is there a hammer down there? Wait, did you put this here on purpose so I can use it as a skip? That's generous. All right, I'm gonna try to take this hammer because it should be a lot faster if I get this. Oh, it's kind of hard. You have to time your jump perfectly to get that hammer skip. Oh, I got it, I got it. Yo, that was clean. Okay, let me watch out for the boom blaster. Oh, okay, the thick punk has saved me. I think I should be almost at the end of the level. Bro, you want me to avoid? How am I supposed to avoid those punching gloves? There's so many of them. Okay, I think they're on a timer. No, I only have five seconds left. Okay, I'm gonna have to load back in. All right, we're back in. Okay, let's try this part again. So I have to avoid the punching gloves somehow. Wait, I, th I just have to time it right. You gotta take your time, you gotta be real slow. Wait at the punching gloves that aren't launching. There we go. Okay, we're actually doing well. I can see the finish line from here. I really wanna try to get a hammer skip. Okay, nice, that was decent. Yeah, the finish line is right there. Oh no. And I spawned at the back of the level. Nice. All right, come on, just take my time again. This looked hard when I was first going through it, but it's actually a lot easier than I thought. Okay, take the hammer. There we go. Oh, that was a really clean skip. Bro, the finish line is right there. Don't mess up again. Let's go. We qualified. Thank you for the submission, Z-Lays. We completed the level. Okay, this one's called At the Speed of Fans by Fatherless Z. Okay. All right, let's see if we can complete this. What the? Okay, this is so abstract. This is kind of cool though. It's a lot of slime slides. So far, this first part is pretty easy. Jump on the lily pad. There we go. Whoa, okay. Now I see why the, the level is named at the speed of fans. I'm dying, help me. Okay. I think I kind of have the hang of this though. But after you get launched up here, you're just gonna get, okay. This is kind of fun actually. You get so much speed from those fans. Okay, hit the lily pad. There we go. All right, nice. I think I can definitely do this. Unless it gets harder after this, I don't know. Wait, what? Okay, what do I do with this fan? Oh, there we go. Okay, I didn't get properly launched last time. Can I get a bar skip? Oh, nice, that was clean. All right, there we go. I think I'm gonna make it. Let's go. Nope. Oh. You're joking, bro. I literally missed the finish line by like an inch. I literally touched it and it just didn't qualify me. 
Let's try this again. And... Nope. Bro, I keep missing it! What am I doing? Okay, this is the hardest part of the level. Just this final jump. This final jump is really hard for some reason. Come on. We can do this. I believe. All you have to do is believe in yourself. You can accomplish anything. <sighs> Come on. Launch me. And let's go. We made, it, we made it this time. Nice. That jump was pretty hard. Thank you for the submission, Fatherless Z. On to the next level. Okay, this one's called Bouncy Madness, made by Fredo Posto. Posto. Sorry if I said your name wrong, but... Here we go. So there's just a bunch of lily pads at the start. This looks pretty cool. So the start is really easy. These jumps might be hard. Okay, no, it's not that bad. We got some bouncing blocks. Nice. Ooh, that's kind of hard actually. Okay, this is really hard. Maybe I should go the other side. Wait, no, it's bouncing blocks over here too. Okay, nothing changes. Now I see why the level's called bouncy madness because it's just a bunch of things that bounce. You can actually jump on these. It won't let you jump. You just have to let it bounce to you how it naturally does. Bro, this is hard. Oh, we made it! Let's go! Okay, finally. All right, now onto this next part. Wait, no, that's backwards. Okay, I have to go this way. This is like that night fever section. You got this little thing with the thick bonkuses. They kind of go fast. Oh, wait, they can't hit me if I'm on the edge. Okay, that's neat. I'm gonna just stay on the edge then. I can't get hit. This section's pretty easy. Get hit by the flipper, and we should get a checkpoint. Nice. All right, we're doing really good. This is a really, this level's really well done. What the heck? I just got stuck. This this looks like a level that Mediatonic would have made themselves. Like, this looks like a professionally made level. I like it. I gotta jump down here and get launched. Come on, launch me. Oh, this is kind of hard. Bro, that jump is so long. You probably need to get a lot of momentum here and then go for the boom blaster. I don't know. I'm gonna get some momentum. Oh man, dude, that's such a long jump. How am I meant to make that? Maybe if I go to the bottom of the pad? Oh, okay. That did it. Nice, we qualified. See, okay, I think it launches you farther if you go to the lower part of the pad. Thanks for the submission. On to the next level. Okay, I saved the hardest level for last. This upcoming level is made by a player with over 17,000 crowns in Fall Guys. It's made by Maxo Revenge and it's called Easy Peasy, which is a really funny name because this is definitely not gonna be Easy Peasy, that's for sure. And also, there's apparently no checkpoints, as he's told me on Discord. Okay, so these seesaw jumps aren't too bad. You gotta use this thing. All right, nice. The beginning is pretty easy, but pretty sure it's gonna get a lot harder. Okay, I have to watch out for these watermelons. Yo, so far so good though. Okay, up until that part. That's the scariest thing. You can't make any mistakes because there aren't any checkpoints. All right, so the beginning is easy. Oh God, okay, gotta watch out for the bar. Are right, we gonna spin her down here? Okay, wait, we're actually getting really far right now. This is the farthest we've made it so far. This is going a lot better than I expected. Okay, let me not get cocky though. Oh, okay. That bar almost hit me. No! Oh. No, bro! I spawned all the way at the beginning. Oh, it hurts, bro. Okay, come on. Just don't mess up. I actually think I can make it pretty far on this level. We've already made it down here before, which is already pretty good. I mean, you can see the finish line from here. So it can't be too bad. I have to time this right because last time I got hit by that wrecking ball. I have to make sure that doesn't happen again. Okay, we'll go now. Nice. Okay, we made it past the wrecking ball. This is the farthest we made it so far. Careful these axes. Okay. Nice. We're doing good. We're doing good. Okay, watch out for the axe. Nice. Dude, the finish line is right there. I can smell it. I can literally smell the finish line from here. Come on. I gotta watch out for that punching glove. Wait, the punching glove can't hit me if I'm on the left side of the bouncer. Okay, nice. Dude, I'm almost at the end. I'm actually almost at the end. Gotta be really careful. Move this turntable. There we go. No. You trolled me? I don't think I can get back up. Why would you add this here? The, the rest of the level is so easy. The finish line is right there, but I'm trapped. There's no way to get back up from here. So now I have to start all the way at the beginning. That is actually painful. Okay, we're back here. I just have to make sure that I don't go down to that pillar, because I know what happens. All right, just stay on the sides. Okay, the turntable is already kind of turned for me, so that's good. Nice. Okay, we made it to the side. 20 seconds left, but I'm at the ending though. Oh, bro, this ax is scaring me. No! 
No! I was about to beat it! Okay, we're already back over here. This level is very difficult, but I'm actually doing a lot better than I thought. Like, the fact that I made it to the end twice now, like, I'm definitely doing a lot better than I thought I was gonna do. Okay, watch out for the axe. There we go. Because Maxo has literally told me in DMs that nobody has completed this level yet. So if I complete this... I'll be the first one to complete his level. And that's kind of crazy to me. Oh, I gotta turn this turntable again. This could easily push you off. Nice. All right, we have to watch out for that ax now because that's what got me killed last time. All right, so how should I go about this? <gasps> Let's go! I qualified! Let's go, dude, we finally beat the level. Oh my God, that was really hard. But we completed it though. Thank you for the submission, Maxo Revenge, and thank you guys for watching. Like I said at the beginning of the video, this is a series, and this is only part one. We're gonna be playing way more levels in the future, so stay tuned.